Hello guys, uh, I just wanted to show a couple of techniques uh, when coming towards the end of an image or midway through, depends on the situation. Uh, so this is something I'm working on at the minute. It's kind of like a, a, a army team are coming in and uh, discovering a nest. They have an objective to kind of destroy it. And this is part of a larger series of images that I want to do. But um, yeah, they're just discovering this kind of entranceway to a deeper underground area. Uh, so yeah, I'm near the end. I've already kind of put a lot of adjustment layers on and I'm trying to uh, control noise and detail and maybe enhance some areas around the focal point. Um, so if I, I've also uh, got these images here from um, Alien and that, uh, like just these, how they kind of tackle these and the way the slime and goo looked and the eggs, it's just this lovely, it's like areas of rest and then in the light it's a bit more detailed so that's the kind of stuff that i'm looking at on the side as well um yeah it's a tricky subject matter to try and balance um, but if i come back in here uh, and just show some of the layers that have been uh, bringing in uh, so i have this pack now it's absolutely disgusting uh, just a heads up i have this pack it's from uh, photobash.org and um, they have like liver and chicken fillets and kind of bones and stuff. So these are actually really uh, useful for uh, kind of putting together stuff like this if we uh, bash in some of the details, if you uh, have the stomach for it. So, um, and yeah, by the way, if you haven't noticed already, uh, the newer Photoshop's have this object selection tool. So it's uh, much easier to make selections and drop in um, elements like that so i'm just going to make a layer by copy for that one i'm just going to drag to the side and uh, come back into my painting here so i'm just going to drag this in so this kind of works quite well for like a disgusting uh mutant egg element so if i want to try and use this somewhere so yeah with this image i'm constantly kind of battling having too much detail and then having too little so at the end here i've been just trying to uh, pull out and define some more areas around the entranceway to the nest so um i have a shortcut here but uh just for your own sake i have this um technique here that i use it's uh or setting it's a match color it's uh, very useful so if i just press f2 it will bring up this menu here and basically I can uh, pick a source. So generally I'm gonna be picking from the PSD and then I can pick any of the layers. So that's gonna pull uh, the color information from whatever layer I'm uh, directing it towards. So uh, you can often end up with pretty um, kind of cool, happy accidents. Like I kind of like this, what it's done. So if I do it before and after, you can just see it's kind of brought that into this color palette a little bit more. Now it will still need a little bit of uh, adjusting, I think, um, and then trying to find a decent kind of place for it. So I'd say I want to kind of put that in somewhere around here. And then I might have to paint over it and kind of do some curve adjustments. Uh, sometimes I will completely mask it out and then just come back in with a round brush and kind of just mask in the parts that I want. And then I can also control that a little better. So it just blends in a little bit more with the layer underneath. And then uh, I might need to create another layer on top of that then and just maybe do a little bit of painting and noise control and maybe some whatever veins and kind of that fleshy detail and then another thing that I might do is uh, if I come up here and go to filter and come down to noise median um, this is quite good for when you're bringing in photographs and you don't want like the super high fidelity detail. So if I go all the way up to five here, you're just kind of left with a blur. It depends on the photograph and how small or large it is. 
so I'll often leave that setting on one or two and that kind of does the does the job so now we have this kind of uh, disgusting cyst type shape um, and then I might be able to reuse that in places as well I might need to further uh, adjust the colors depending on where it is um, so yeah that's one one kind of uh, interesting technique there And yeah, I'll basically uh, rinse and repeat that. I also had um, I brought in some other shapes here. So if I just put this back up here, I was also using uh, this, like a bunch of chicken. Uh, if I drop this in, I'm gonna scale it down. So yeah, now we have this really disgusting texture and what I can actually do is, I'll do a quick match color. Um, I've already implemented this into a couple of areas. I'll point them out now. So I'm just gonna do a quick match color on that. And you'll see it's kind of brought that value down and matched it a bit more with the image. Um, so let's say, so you can see here, I implemented them over here. Now they're probably a little bit too blue, so I do need to go over that. Uh, so I can also grab, if I just create a new layer and grab the uh, clone stamp tool here. So I can like pick a, I can pick a section of this. Let's say I want to brush in a little bit of that texture work into maybe some key areas where I want a little bit more fidelity. I can do that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's one of those things you do need to experiment with. And then uh, you have to kind of match up the the values and colors and uh, detail. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty it's another pretty useful technique when you're at this point and you're just kind of experimenting. So that is another useful technique. Um, and then sometimes as well, I'll just have a play around with the layer modes. So I did use um, this layer mode earlier uh, on pin light. So if I just go back to the normal uh, layer. So this is what this looks like under the normal layer. It's kind of like a liver. Um, so I've got the pin light. I ended up with this kind of, it's almost like a yeah, extra layer on top of the egg. And then I painted in on top of that and I thought it kind of gave an interesting result. So. Um, I'll just see if I can get something with this as well. Again, it doesn't always work, so it's a case of uh, trial and error and uh, kind of further adjusting layers. So maybe I can brighten this up. And then I might have to um, mask in, so I can just hit that setting there, and then I can mask out some of this and soften the detail so i can just get a little bit of extra detail and fidelity there and um, also probably run a median on that just to soften it a bit so yeah it's just giving that extra little layer of kind of grossness there yeah i'll have to find a proper home for that uh, cyst I'm gonna turn that off for now. Um, so yeah, that is uh, a couple of techniques that I'll run at the end. And um, there's also a cool trick. Uh, I have this add-on called Acviz. So yeah, if I just come to the top of my layer stack and do Control-Alt-Shift-E, I'll compress everything together and put it on one layer. So I've just brought one of those up here. Uh, so yeah, I have this Acviz plugin and uh, I have the artwork edition. So if I run this, um, it's just a separate kind of plugin that adds like a painterly layer. Uh, so it's kind of cool for implementing if you don't want that perfectness of uh, like a 3D render, um, it can be uh, pretty good. So I have some, uh, I have like a preset here that I often use at um, different stages of painting. So if I just apply this, you just see a kind of, uh, nicely simplifies some of the shapes now it absolutely trashes the image in places as well so it's not something you want to um 
use a huge amount but certainly like around kind of outside the focal point areas um, I'll just make sure I'm on the correct part of the mask um, so yeah I'll just like brush that in then around kind of the edges of the image and it just gives a nice painterly layer and we kind of lose some more of those shapes and it just simplifies things quite nicely and then I might come in as well and kind of manually like grab some smudge brushes and uh, do the same thing um, so yeah there are uh, a couple of techniques so yeah I'm probably gonna keep messing with this if I uh, go into my um, black and white and just check I'm still not too happy with kind of the the level of detail around here so I need to continue to uh, mess with that um, so yeah between those couple of techniques I'll just kind of go back and forth and try and balance out the image so uh, yeah and um, I'll hopefully uh, post this up soon and uh, have some more images from uh, this project so uh, yeah catch you in the next one